Fanero Devotions for Monday, November 20, 2023, by Apostle Grace LaBega, titled, The Mystery of Temptation, Part 2, Luke 4 verse 5 to 6, KJV and the Devil, taking him up into an high mountain, shoot unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the Devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. When a Christian knows who he is in God and is not confused about his identity, the next line of attack from the enemy is whether such a person knows how much power is given to him because of his knowledge of his identity. Knowing who you are in God is not enough. If you know who you are, the devil will also seek to tempt you with what he has in an exchange of power. If you transact with the enemy at this point, it is because you do not know how much God has made available because of your identity as a child of the King. Some Christians have transacted with the enemy without knowing so and have been derailed from the course of their destinies. For example, becoming unequally yoked with a non-believer, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14, simply because he can take care of your mother, build you a house and buy you a car, is a transaction with the enemy. It is because you do not know that with your identity came all things that pertain to life and godliness, 2 Peter 1 verse 3, and all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places, Ephesians 1 verse 3. As a believer, choose to understand what it means to be a child of God. What privileges does sonship to God carry? What liberties have been availed to you? To what do you have access? By this, you will always turn down the enemy's version of power, wealth, health or glory. Hallelujah! Further study, 1 Corinthians 3 verses 21 to 23, John 17 verse 22. Golden Nugget, as a believer, choose to understand what it means to be a child of God. What privileges does sonship to God carry? What liberties have been availed to you? To what do you have access? By this, you will always turn down the enemy's version of power, wealth, health or glory. Prayer, Loving Father, I thank you for this truth. Thank you for the great blessings and graces you have made available to me. The eyes of my understanding are open to see the riches of my inheritance in Christ. I can never fall for the enemy's counterfeit because I know my portion in God, in Jesus' name, Amen.